Hey everybody, how you doing? Dash and Dave here again. Please click that subscribe button and hit that like button. Thank you very much. Alright, Thursday, December 15th, heading on into Ames. You can see here we got a little bit of flurry action going on. And we're at 28 degrees. We were at 33 degrees early this morning. And when I went to the grocery store before I decided to come on over to town here, uh, boy, that, uh, the north-south uh, roads are just slick as a button. Uh, out in the country, if you will, where it's open, and people have mashed the, uh, the snow down, and it's just like uh, Vaseline on a mirror. Everybody seems to be doing pretty good here. We're doing about 40 on uh, Old 30 Lincoln Way Highway into Ames there. It's about 8.42. I'm heading to Sam's Club. Gas is down to $2.58 a gallon. Wow, that is fantastic. Okay, so my most recent video that I just posted this morning is about chasing the diamond. Yeah, going to be chasing that accept more earn more I think I'm at 64 percent here I was down to 40 as recently as about eight days ago but I had that run about 12 days ago where two sections of 10 as I was tallying it on the sheet there I was seven out of 10 declines for two two sections so that was 20 20 jobs about six declines <laughs> or six accepts and everything else was declines so anyway uh, then, I think I kind of cycled through that two-section chunk there, and through really no uh, effort of my own, climbed back up above 50, and then even got near 60. Monday, when I did the earn by time and just took everything, that brought me up. So I'm sitting at 64% right now, and I'm going to try to get above 70 again because, like I've said before, when the market's good, it works. Okay, so it works both ways. We've seen that now. Okay, so the other day, I did that cater from my brother Mike through Easy Cater through DoorDash. Uh, he's real busy this time of year, and he had two today for Ames. CY Stevens Auditorium, they have dance recitals and a whole bunch of things there. Had two caters there, lunch and then a dinner. So I'm doing those for him today through him, through Easy Cater. He added me as a driver. We've got everything all set up. This is not through DoorDash or anybody else. It's me as an independent contractor being a delivery courier for him. So uh, I'll go down to Huxley, pick up the lunch, bring it up, run some hours, then go down, get the dinner, come back, and drop it off at the same place. So, and I think roughly my pay for those two jobs will be about hundred hundred and twenty dollars so the day is good already complete uh, depending on completion of these these orders so the snow is not too bad it's just real light the roads are pretty slick uh, the second band comes through right about the time I'll be dropping off the dinner time cater and then back home so anyway uh, we'll just see what the day brings I am gonna be kind of chasing that diamond with the fact that I've got these two cater jobs from Mike today and already sitting at 100, I think I'm going to take just about every order on DoorDash uh, just to help get those percentage, just to help to get that percentage up above 70 again. And then we'll see what happens there. We'll just keep playing the game. All right, it's just a little bit before 11 here. I had to come down to Huxley just a little bit early. Uh, Earlier this morning, I was kind of cleaning things up in the back of the truck and getting the little red wet canvas wagon set up in case I needed it for this job. And <laughs> found a grocery bag with three one-pound bricks of Velveeta cheese in it. I theorized that was supposed to come to the daycare last Friday. So I called him and she goes, yeah, we, we were missing them. We just went and bought some more. We knew we'd get it back from you. So I said, hey, I just happened to be coming down to Huxley here do a cater for my brother there he is getting the generators ready he's got two mammoth generators in the back of the truck to tow the the food truck there and uh, uh, so anyway I, I brought that down and gave it to him I said I hope I didn't screw up macaroni and cheese day too bad and she goes well we had to go to fairway but we knew we'd get them from you so <laughs> all right all right so I'm down here way earlier than I need to be but that's okay uh, he was leaving and I was gonna make entry into the uh, business here and 
uh, I've been down here half a dozen dozen times, but I'm not sure which one's the warmer, which one's the cooler, yada, yada, yada. So we'll get that all figured out. Snow picking up a little bit. He's going out to Barilla. There's his food truck. And uh, he's going to, uh, he built that truck himself, bought the trailer, and then did what he could do. And then was uh, wondering about how he could get, you know, sinks and water tanks and air conditioners and everything in it. And I uh, pointed him to my favorite RV dealership over in Colo. And uh, that's, he had that done about three or four or five years ago. But anyway, all right, it's a good thing that he's so busy that he needs me. All right, so it's 11.15. Need to have that there in a half hour. We'll get it there, no problem. Uh, got it all loaded up real good and everything, and I was glad to catch him there. We talked a little bit more. So anyway, uh, snow's picking up big time. I didn't think the second round was supposed to be here until like 4 o'clock this afternoon. But uh, I'm looking at my iPad with the radar on it. It's here. <laughs> well, maybe this is just... Uh, second round 2.0 and then we'll have second round 2.3 or something like that who knows so anyway all right so and then i'll come back about 3 45 this afternoon and get the second one with what he's paying me i may after this uh it'll be about noon run about an hour or so uh till one o'clock and that's generally when things have been kind of slowing down uh with doordash and the other food apps we'll see what's going on uh I, excuse me i may go home hang out for a little bit and then go from home to Huxley for the nighttime meal. All right, I just reset my 35 minute pause on DoorDash and see that we're at 250 peak pay right now. Uh, and it's going until two o'clock this afternoon. So yeah, when uh, we get this dropped off and I'll be done with that right about noon, we'll uh, DoorDash for an hour. And uh, 250 peak pay. We that's rare for this time of day. I've said that before. That usually, for the most part, peak pay is not worth anything in our market. But I'm guessing with the weather and possibly uh, this is finals week, and I think most finals are over, so the kids are bugging out for the next month. And there goes a lot of my competition. So we'll uh, we'll see how that works this afternoon in about 45 minutes here. So. Yeah, it started about 10 minutes ago. Peak pay did, 250, awesome. Hello, this is Dave with your Comfort Foods uh, Cater. Hi Dave, are you yeah, here on site? I am, I'm right behind the tour bus. All right, uh, how far we got to hump this in? I can put it in a, uh, I've got it in two insulated bags, but I've got a little wagon also. I'm, I'm right here at the, there you are. Alright, we got that done and delivered just a little bit early. There's a band, a traveling band, it's like a home free family Christmas tour and they're playing tonight at CY and they are the ones that I'll be delivering dinner to at 4.45 this afternoon. Called him up and he met me and we carried it on in. I saw the back of the stage as they're setting everything up. So anyway, alrighty, so now we're on 2.50 peak pay for the next uh, two hours until two. Until 2, it's actually uh, 11.44. So yeah, noon, noon to 2, 2.50 peak pay. Hopefully we can uh, get that uh, acceptance rate up a little bit today. Well, I dropped off that double from Panera, $13, just out to Campus Town there. Been about 15 minutes, nothing on DoorDash. Panera, where I picked it up, was absolutely slammed. There were six to eight door dashers in there that I've never seen before. Everybody had doubles. So Panera was a real popular restaurant about 20, 30 minutes ago. Uh, I just fired up Uber Eats. I was going to leave everything off except DoorDash. Uh, it's pretty out. The snow's flying. It's, you know, about 30 degrees. <clears throat> but yeah, one more time. Peak pay in my market is not because it's busy and rocking and rolling and we need you guys and gals out here to take care of the demand. It's that it's slow for the most part. 
we're luring you guys and gals out to take care of what little business we have. That's my, that's always been my case in my market. Okay, so we're up to 66%, I believe. Here's a, I'm sitting here at Tropical Smoothie, been here for five minutes, had my lunch. Six and a quarter, three miles, high priority, diamond order, yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah, and this is going all the way till two, so it's slow. Uh, I was thinking it was going to be a lot, little bit busier than it was based on 250 peak pay, but once again, in my market, it's not because it's so busy. We need you guys and gals out here. It's so slow. We're going to tease you to come on out. Well, I really didn't pay attention to where this tropical smoothie was going. Didn't matter. I'm all the way, way east of Ames at Country Landscapes here, uh, out in the middle of nowhere. Practically three quarters of the, practically one quarter of the way home. It's almost, it's one o'clock. I sat for 15 minutes on a busy $2.50 peak pay. Tony's saying, Dave, go home, take a nap. Two hours from now, we'll go get the other cater job to go to the CY Stevens Auditorium, get those uh, that band and crew their dinner from my brother, and we'll call it a day. That's what my spidey sense is telling me. Instead of hanging right back in Ames, hang a left, go home. So that's what I'm gonna do. And yeah, I tell you, <clears throat> be very repetitive here about the peak pay in my market. Uh, you know, I've seen screenshots of people you know, like in Denver or San Francisco, out in California, you know, it's five dollar, eight dollar uh, peak pay, and it, the, the the zone is just blood red, and everybody's talking about you know how much they're making, and you know, like I was just chatting with OJ on text, you know, on my last video, he was saying he goes, I like seeing your videos when you show the other offers. He goes, man, you get a lot of sub seven dollar offers where he says, I rarely see those. Everything's above seven, seven or above. You know, and that's cost of living, the market, yada, yada, yada. This is a college town, you know, and just all the factors that go into it. And so, you know, I've never really been a part of peak pay where you're just shoveling in the money. Yeah, and I just killed the dash and my market is pink. I mean, that's better than gray but only by one factor. So, yeah. All right, so we'll take a little break. I'll go take a nap and we'll see you for the dinner run. Two hours later. All right, so it's about 3.30, heading back toward Huxley, just left Nevada. Wow, it's pretty bad out. It does not look like it, not a lot of heavy snow or snow on the ground, but you know, from the previous video earlier today, we saw that the roads were very wet, and uh, now it's, it's 26 degrees outside, still not the coldest, but everything is just a sheet of ice. My brother's third cater in my town of Nevada, where he was gonna set up the chafing dishes and everything, they have canceled. Uh, so he only has his second Barilla food truck uh, event at 8.30 tonight for second shift. So that's still on for now. And, you know, it's not supposed to, there's not going to be any snow or blizzard or wind or anything. But, wow, things are slick. I'm in four-wheel drive in Old Speedwagon. Hell, yeah. We're doing about 40. Everybody seems to be maintaining pretty good. But I don't know if you can see it, but there's just a sheen underneath the snow that's on the uh, ground on the road and that snow plow that just went by he was throwing a fair amount so we'll just take it slow and, and easy get this dropped off to uh, that band that's at CY and then get back home
right not too bad of a drive back in easy drop off use my uh, canvas wagon for the very first time because dinner was a lot heavier than a lunch put the hot stuff down on the bottom of the wagon there and it only took about half of the uh, insulated uh, cater bag and then put the cold stuff and everything else and the salad and all that stuff on the top and it kind of collapsed the bag down and so it fit in the wagon just perfect and I think we probably saw a little bit of me putting it in there all right so <clears throat> their concert tonight uh, I don't know what time it starts. I hope they have a good turnout with this shitty weather. All right, so <clears throat> Speedwagon performed magnificently. I haven't had him in four-wheel drive for that long of a time for quite a while, if ever. I've never really done any <clears throat> severe weather long-distance driving with Speedwagon, just in town and stuff like that. All right, so I'm heading home having supper, and uh, yeah, 69 coming back. You probably, I, I, you probably couldn't really tell. I might have done a time lapse or whatever, but uh, it was a sheet of ice. Some of those cars, little tiny cars, were like doing like 20 miles an hour. But uh, everybody maintained. We only saw that one in the ditch that I saw on the way down. So uh, yeah, it's pretty darn slick out here, and the wind doesn't help. I mean, the visibility's okay. It's not snowing again. It's kind of off and on, but. Uh, I don't know if you can tell again on the video, but uh, 30 mile an hour winds kind of out of the northwest. When you're going north and south, you know, a little bit of a wind hits you, and that's when the rear end comes loose. All right, guys and gals, that's all I've got for you today. Hopefully you can take something from this video and put it to use for yourself. Thanks for coming along for the ride and hope to see you next time.